Hey, 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 how's it going everyone? Welcome to another video. I'm your host, Bobo Z, and today we're going to talk about expensive microphone against cheap microphones. What are the differences? Which one is the right one for you? Grab a cuppa, jump one of what got strained. Let's do it. i got a short and sweet answer for you now. In most cases, the price of the microphone doesn't matter. That's right, doesn't matter. It depends on the use that you make out of it and your budget. So why people buy expensive microphones? Well, there are two reasons, typically. Number one is production quality. And number two is commodity. That's right. <laughs> Things simple. If you are just starting out and you don't know if content creation is for you, there are a lot of budget options on the market that thanks to software, you can get them to a stage where the quality is very, very close to a much more expensive piece of equipment. But it's either hard to set up or has the greatest learning curve. Let me give you a quick example. Let's talk mics. These are five for both USB mics and XLR mics. A good USB button microphone option is the five fine USB mic. This one, about 50 bucks US. A good XLR budget option is the Shaw PGA 40, which is around 40 bucks. You can get them to sound pretty good using OBS filters and voice meter, both free to use, but it will take you a while to set them up and you will have to learn to use one more software, which can be challenging and you will may have a little trouble monitoring your whole stream sound. By monitoring, I mean listen to what your stream is listening to, all the sources volume. Keep also in mind that a USB mic can be plugged in directly to your PC, but an XLR mic needs a cloud lifter interface, which translates the sound from the XLR mic to USB without losing quality. And also in the case of mics like Shure SN7B or some premium condenser microphones, it actually raise the level because they can be very quiet. Let's talk premium USB mics. A Gato Wave 3 between 100 and 150 US dollars. I will tell you in a moment why it's the only premium mic that I will ever recommend. Other than, well, it sounds good right out of the box. Premium XLR mic are usually from big brands like Audio Technica, Rode, Blue, Elgato, Shaw, which are usually paired up with a Wave XLR device, which is about $150 US and or the Go XLR device, which is about $500. I'm not sponsored by Elgato yet, <laughs> but Elgato mics and Elgato Wave XLR come with the Wavelink software, which takes the PC sound and lets you easily control up to nine different apps, volumes, and it has submixes. Submixes are very important when you stream. It means that you can actually individually control the volume of the app or source, set a different volume for your monitoring or headset and your stream. You can toggle between them so you can listen in real time on what your stream is listening to. Also, you can apply filters and VST to all of your audio sources if you wish to. Do you have teammates in the background? They're always shouting their microphone <laughs> like it never happened before. No worries. You can use filters on your game chat, Discord sources, to avoid them blow the ears of your viewers. You can then add all of your sources to OBS as only one source. More expensive microphones also sound better out of the box and they require less effort to make them sound good. Lastly, why would someone buy a GoX device for 500 Australian dollars? Well, the integrated software lets you control your source's volume almost as good as the Wavelink software, but you also have a physical device with faders, uh, soundbar, mic effects, all of the touch for button. Great, eh? <laughs> but also come as a price, as you see. All the projects that I've talked about today, they will be in my kit.co, which is linked down below, as a separate mic recommendations. Don't forget to check it out. You can consider yourself an expert in mics now. Which one are you going for? Why? Let me know in the comments below. 
while you're down there, don't forget to pop that like button. That way YouTube will share this video so I can help more people. Thanks for watching and as usual, happy creating.